In part 2, we discuss the speed values Mario has during his different types of movement, as well as how he is affected by gravity differently based on the type of movement. For part 3, we'll be going more in depth on how the gravity works and how it changes when Mario is on the moon. When Mario is standing still on the ground, there's a gravitational force of 3 on him. While walking, this force increases to 7. While in the air, there are two typical levels of gravity he can experience, 1.5 and 1. Gravity is 1.5 during ground pound jumps, rolls, single and double jumps, spin pounds, and it's the value gravity returns to after Mario completes a cap throw or rainbow spin. Gravity is 1 while Mario is in a triple jump, vault, side flip, back flip, or cap bounce. The exceptions to this include dives at 2 gravity, cap return jumps at 1.3 gravity, wall jumps at 0.95 gravity, rainbow spins at 0.8 gravity, long jumps at 0.48 gravity, spin jumps at 0.4 gravity, and cap throws at 0.3 gravity. Simple, right? Well, don't worry, it only gets more complicated on the moon. To start off by doing a single jump, we see that the initial velocity is the same, but Mario experiences 0.4 gravity. A double jump on the moon also causes 0.4 gravity. So is it 0.4 gravity for all jumps? No, that would be too simple. Rolling on the moon causes 1 gravity, and also an initial vertical speed of 11. Why would a roll on the moon give slightly more vertical speed? Let's take a closer look. In most kingdoms, a roll has 1.5 gravity and begins at 10.5 speed. On the moon, a roll has 1 gravity and begins at 11 speed. What's actually going on here is they both begin with a base value of 12, but one frame of gravity is applied before Mario even moves. Mario never really moves 12 units, but this is the value the game uses to calculate his initial speed in both cases. This is why the initial speed of wall jumps is 22.05 instead of a more round number. The base value is 23, and 0.95 gravity is subtracted first to get a first movement of 22.05 units. By adding that frame of gravity back, we can see all the base values. Now, figuring out the initial speed on the moon is as simple as taking the base value and subtracting the moon gravity for that action. Don't worry, there will be exceptions to this rule too. Let's take a look at side flips and back flips on the moon. Making them have 0.4 gravity would be too easy. Instead, they are 0.45 gravity. 32 minus 0.45 equals 31.55 initial speed for both. A wall jump on the moon has 0.3 gravity, meaning it has 22.7 initial speed. The horizontal speed away from the wall is the same at 8.6. A cap bounce also has 0.6 gravity, meaning it begins at 21.4 speed. The 16 horizontal speed is the same. Cap return jumps also have 0.6 gravity, but as this jump can be held for additional height, the 22 height gained per frame remains the same. Spin jumps have only 0.18 gravity, starting at 19.82 speed. A spin bound changes this gravity to 1.5 the same way it does under normal gravity, but there's a key difference. Instead of starting Mario at negative 36.5 vertical speed, it starts him at zero. Mario then accelerates towards the same speed cap of negative 45. Cap throws on the moon have the same gravity of 0.3, so it mirrors normal gravity exactly until it's over. The only difference is gravity becomes 0.4 afterwards instead of 1.5. Long jumps on the moon have 0.2 gravity, meaning they start at 11.8 speed instead of the usual 11.52. Rainbow spins have 0.6 gravity on the moon and 0.8 normally. 
meaning they begin at 9.4 speed on the moon instead of 9.2. After the animation is done, they return to 0.4 gravity just like Capthro's. This leads to an interesting situation in which Mario is already accelerating downwards and then slows his rate of acceleration after completing the spin. Now there are a few jumps we haven't talked about yet, and it's those exceptions I mentioned earlier. Ground pound jumps, vaults, and dives are specifically nerfed on the moon. Ground pound jumps are nerfed from 40 base speed to 32, resulting in an initial speed of 31.6 under 0.4 gravity. Vaults are nerfed from 32 base speed to 30, resulting in an initial speed of 29.6 under 0.4 gravity. They also cap horizontal speed at 20 instead of 24. Dives are nerfed from 28 base speed to 17, resulting in an initial speed of 16.2 under 0.8 gravity. They also have 18 horizontal speed instead of 20. As far as I know, prior to this video being made, the community did not have a comprehensive understanding of how moon gravity affected Mario's movement. And now we know why. Moon gravity is far more complicated than a simple multiplier, and it would have been basically impossible to figure all this out without tool assistance and frame data. Believe it or not, there's still much more movement in this game to cover, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already.